Hey, what up? Welcome to the woods. We might get interrupted by hikers. I don't know, but uh, let's throw some cards. I am so at peace right now, and um, I just want to kind of take a minute. Let's let's take a couple of deep breaths together. In theory, nose out through your mouth. Hi, I'm Max. Welcome to my channel. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning and thank you for connecting us with you. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. It's coming in for my viewer. It's coming in for my viewer, please. First and foremost, let's just start here. This is a love reading. Did you know that? Did you know that? What do you do now? Someone is in their feels. You may have water in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is for all zodiac signs. I apologize for all the shooting you hear in the background. Welcome to Indiana, where we hunt. They hunt. I don't hunt. I love animals. I don't kill animals. I literally let spiders outside, okay? Someone's on the hunt. Who's on the hunt? I have both. Woo, on God. Look at that ace of swords. Yeah, baby. A lot of blue in these cards. Talk about peace, calm, serenity. I have so much energy today. Man. What was that? Queen of Pentacles. Either you have your eye on someone that you view as spouse material, vice versa, or this is you and your power. Your divine feminine energy is on point grounded as shit okay look at her this is the queen of pentacles just walking in her pentacles right here mother nature you know what i'm saying okay this energy right here look how my cards are flying my cards are flying see how the king of cups is looking straight at her enamored cannot get enough it's like a muse he's never seen anything quite like it before on God. Okay. So that's energy. I'm going to go pick up my Ace of Cup card. Just fill off the back of my car. So that's the kind of love we're dealing with. All right, spirit. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to put those back. Tell me more. Tell me about this love. Magnetic. Magnetic, man. Polarizing. Well, what's a queen of pentacles without a king of pentacles now? This is a court match. Divinely guided couple. Twin flame. Four minutes on the clock right when I say that, okay? I can't make it up, y'all. I got angels behind me. Do you see them? Do you see them? Communication is crucial and key at this point. And someone's about to take charge. I feel it's the divine masculine. Okay. We all have divine masculine energy. And I feel like both of your divine masculine energies are ready to talk. If you're in no communication. If you're already married to this person, there's been a quarrel or something. It's about time to talk. Okay. new beginning you know what I don't like about 2022 
Because I've lived many lifetimes, all right? I'm timeless. My soul does not die, and neither does yours, okay? This is a brand new life with your twin flame because you've had so many lifetimes together. But anything, but anything that ever is good, uh, built on a false foundation has to, to crumble before a new solid foundation can come in. And a research will tell you in anything that I've seen about twin flames, exactly that happens when they finally find each other in this lifetime, the last time, whatever, it crumbles. But what I was saying about what I don't like about 2022 is in this time, everybody gives up so quickly. It's disgusting in love. They just throw it away. Heaven forbid they repair or they communicate. Like I said, I've lived many lifetimes. And that's what I say about this time frame. It's fucked up. Tell me more about this love, please. This timeless, endless, bountiful love. We had one fall on the ground. Let's see what it was. There's the fall. It blew off the top. Ace of Swords again. This new beginning, this renewal, it has to come in because it's divinely guided. Divine timing is at work. I'm seeing a Ferris wheel or a boardwalk of some type. Look at that. Look at that in the reverse. All it takes is a matter of getting your own personal power back in check and getting out of your own head. You can't stop it. No one can. Not your person, not you, not anyone else. If you needed confirmation, if you came to this reading because you needed confirmation or hope about your person and you, it's here. I'm marked. Oh God, extra special, okay? I can feel that love and that peace and, and harmony with one another. That it's, it's so, it's indescribable. It really truly is, it's indescribable. Tell me more about this love. opportunity the ace how many aces have we seen three already ace of cups ace of swords twice and now the ace of pence when a relationship is wealthy or carries weight for humanity it is worth more than other relationships people can say we're all equal mm. I beg to differ, and I could that's a whole other topic, okay? But but here's what I'm saying. The universe is presenting a new opportunity for this relationship, and it's solid. It's from day one with experience. You're not starting over with this person, you're starting from experience. times have you started over with this person and how many lifetimes it's funny it's funny you know if you really think about it isn't it funny like if you know this is your twin flame and you know you're always going to see them in the next lifetime you know you're searching for each other the whole thing and then you finally get to get to see them and you're with them and then somehow you sabotage your relationship it's like it's funny at the end of the day because it's like all right well i guess see you next lifetime let's waste each other's time some more the fool came out again see i can't no starting over again all right Cycles weren't. Cycles weren't. You get it? You get it? <laughs> oh, I gotta walk away on that one. That's just funny. Take a look at that again. You see that monarch butterfly? You see why we do this? Do you see why you do this? Why you dedicate yourself to this journey, to this process? Does your person send him this video? It's all love, baby. We're here for this, to keep this safe, 
to help people learn about it. Not to fight. Not to hate. Not to spew filth out of mouths. Not to ignore. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. That's some lower level shit. That's some low vibration shit. I'm sorry. Am I communicating too much for y'all? You might be dealing with someone that's really good at communicating or has excellent communication. I don't mean to flip you off there. Sorry, I had an itch on my back. I feel like you and this person have even maybe said fuck you to one another multiple times. The disrespect. There is no coming back from that unless it's dead. You got to kill it to reboot. You know? You feel me? Or am I being too sassy today? I'm sick of anybody telling me I'm too much. You know why? Because I'm a winner, okay? There's two things. You either win with me or watch me win. You understand? That's not my ego. That's fact coming through. 11-11, Ashe. And that's you. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the Empress, Ashe. Ashe, you get it? And that's you. We don't play in this, in this channel, okay? We don't play games. We win them. To, against anyone who tries to come against us and watch. You can't stop watching the winning. It's okay, we get it. But guess what? Don't you want to be with a winner? Because you're a winner. I want to be with a winner. Don't you? Learn how to win. That's how you manifest over and over and over and over and over success. Over and over and over and over miracles. Don't, don't these people get it, y'all? I'm sorry. Am I preaching? I am. Okay. Tell me more. Whoo! I just want to say, on behalf of your person, the amount of apologetic sorrow they have in their heart for you and for what's happened, is it's here. It's present. And if they haven't expressed that, please know that. Because I, oh, I feel it. <sighs> I bought this beautiful quartz yesterday. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? And then I got this one. And there, it wasn't marked, so I don't know what it is. But, oh, my gosh. It's like, I don't know if it's showing up. Anyway. I'll tell you a story. Story time. Let's take a break. Let's slow things down a little bit here. So, yesterday, I went to go get a couple of crystals at one of my favorite metaphysics stores. And it's kind of far away. It's about an hour away. And um, I got there, and there was a sign on the door that said they were at Spirit Fest 2022. And I had never even heard of this. I've never been there before. I didn't know about it, but apparently it was at this actual spiritualist uh, associations grounds, gardens uh, that were absolutely beautiful with these rolling hills and these natural river rock and all these beautiful statues. And they had this prayer garden that you can go in that was, um, it was just, ah. And then they had all these vendors there, everything from psychics and mediums and and aura readers and, and Reiki healers to, you know, crystals and necklaces and, you know, all, everything that would come along with that. And I went there and it was one of the most healing things I've had. And it was in my home state, right beneath my nose. I'm telling you this story because I feel like there's something right beneath your nose that's going to give you ultimate healing to get you to that next step with your person or vice versa. If you're twins, that means it's going to happen to you as well. There's something right under your nose that's meant to heal you right now at this time. And you're going to be like, why was it this close? Why did it take this long for me to find this place? I don't know. There's a message with that. But anyways, like I said, I didn't even know I was about that festival. I, I in my last video, I talked about um, one of my, oh, King of Pentacles. <laughs> in my last video, I talked about my favorite festival of the year. My hometown was Johnny Appleseed Festival. Well, guess what? I didn't even go to that festival because I ended up at Spirit Fest yesterday. Because guess why? Whoop. Spirit led me there. That store was closed so I could get sent to Spirit Fest. And guess what? I met a woman that really, really touched my heart. And I needed those words. 
Let me go grab this card. Maybe you need my words, my healing. Mm, I'm sending it to you. I'm gonna throw one more time and then we're gonna wrap this up y'all, okay? Feel that warmth and that healing. It's coming. It's here, you're watching. Seeing is believing. Isn't that what they say? Isn't that what they say? It's time to celebrate. Celebrate all the good things you are. The good, the horrible, the disgusting things you can't stand about yourself, but all the beautiful things that are left. So many beautiful things you have, that you give, that you can create. Spirit is celebrating you and your person and this love because no matter what you found each other, it's your turn to show them, inspire them. So whether you or your, or your person are watching this, I pray that for you. I pray that this inspires you. I pray for healing in your relationship. I do. Nope, what, right here? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, both of you are gonna be ready to put in the work soon. Within three hours, three days, three weeks, three months. Three, 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 three. Look up the number. People say, ah, oh, numerology, I'm, I know what that is. It's just all bullshit. No, actually it's coding. Believe me, I'm in cybersecurity. It's coding. Incoming Shh. communication. Final card, please. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found healing in this video. If it resonated, please leave me a comment below. All private readings are free in September. Take advantage, please. Final card. Split the deck. I got a car rolling up on me. Gotta go. <laughs> My cards don't lie, y'all. It's coming.